fun fact. Did you know that if you do dips, you can build the triceps, the shoulder muscle, and the chest muscle? And it's a great workout you can do anywhere. Also, if you're a little bit weak in the arms, you'll be able to pick up your Bible more. How about that? So would you join me as I enjoy some dips today? Hey, well, today I wanted to continue the series on why do I believe in the Bible? Well, there's many different perspectives we can take, but today I wanted to take a little bit different perspective. Love. Love is the reason why I believe wholeheartedly in the Bible. Now, many people always ask me the question, why do you believe in God and he created hell? Well, I'm going to dig in a little bit deeper about that today. Today, I'm going to be reading from John chapter 3, 16 through 19. So won't we jump right on in and see what John says? John starts off by saying, For God so loved the world in this way, he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world that he might condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Anyone who believes in him is not condemned, but anyone who does not believe is already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the one and only Son of God. This then is the judgment. The light has come into the world and people love darkness than the light because their deeds were evil. So, John is saying that God did not send Jesus into the world to condemn the world. Hell is a sense of punishment or condemnation, which is brought upon ourselves. Now, we cannot look to God and blame him for the decisions that we make. Now, some of us grew up with trauma and so on and different things that affect us from loving in the way that we should. But God is a God who is full of grace and he wants us to understand that we have a choice that we can choose to do what's right freely. So God doesn't force us. I'm going to read one more thing to, for you before we close out. And it's from my favorite guy, C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis puts it this way. The door of hell is locked on the inside. All who go there choose to do so. Lewis added, there are only two kinds of people in the end. Those who say to God, thy will be done, and those to whom God says in the end, thy will be done. All that are in hell choose it. Lewis believed without that self-choice, there could be no hell. I believe the same thing. We all have the decision to choose where we want to be in life, despite whatever we might have been through. Now, closing with this, I grew up in a place called Trinidad and Tobago. And Trinidad has a lot of crime. I was not a perfect individual. And I did do some things that I shouldn't have done. But I still had the decision to choose if I wanted to continue to do the things that was unpleasing or to make the change and do what's right. See, without God, there is nothing 
that we cannot say that is going to be loving. God is the ultimate one who leads and point us to love. But we must make that decision to do so. Today, I pray that this thought would just soak in and you may choose to pick up the Bible and search the evidence. I pray all is well with you and your family. God bless you all and have a great day.